할렐루야. 할렐루야. <웃음> 이 you know, if you remember word of God and word of God really working in our heart, in our heart, you know, we are always ready to hallelujah, always ready to praise the name of the Lord. That's why every message what you starting within these years need to uh, memorize it and meditate it so that the God who is in you. You should allow him to work. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. 자, uh, we studying it. Uh, there are kind of Christian in the Bible according to preaching of Jesus and also Apostle Paul and Peter like this. That's why we studying first. There are six stage of the spiritual uh, steps. Infant, child, adolescent, youth, and sons and father. Sons and fathers level will will inherit, inherit. That's why spiritual growth is the step by step from the infant. When you attending church, you are spiritually infant when you first time attend. When the years. Uh, pass you attending church and Bible study, and you grow grow up like child, and someone is adolescent, open open. Someone is uh, youth. Someone is uh, sons and fathers levels, and also in other uh, explanation in the Bible say, someone is in the church according to. First uh, Corinthians chapter three, verse one is a real. There are spiritual Christian and simple natural Christians. Well, carnal man is unbelievers, but in the church there are two kind of Christians: spiritual Christian and simple natural Christian. It means still they are not yet sanctified, not yet sanctified, ongoing sanctified. Okay. That's why this one need to sanctify it, and also we say here, no one who obey great commandment was Sunday Christian like this. Also, uh, eternal servant and free servant, six year servant, free. Actually, I should finish today. Eternal servant and six year free. Free servant, it means. So very important. Before you believe in Jesus Christ, you are the slave of Satan. Everybody is slave of Satan. Because Satan is the prince of the world. And he is the ruler of the kingdom of Ayer. That's why every, everybody, you are slave of Satan. But through Christ's death and resurrection, when you believe it, you are free from the bondage of Satan. So, that's why those who have freedom, freedom, they use their freedom after they believe Christ. It's a free servant, free, free man. They use their freedom. Even this freedom declared by Christ's death and resurrection, but many Christians still you enjoy that freedom. They say, I'm, I'm free. I'm saved. Yeah, you are saved, but they use their freedoms. And then six year servants, they are still ongoing contract, ongoing contracts. But in eternal servant, after finish six years, the seven years, the eternal servant said, Oh Lord, you, my masters, I love you, and even my family who belong to you, and I love them also. It means I love Christian, he said here. I love God. I love members. That's why eternal servant said, Lord, I want to submit my freedom. This free, free man use freedom for himself. Ongoing contract. After six years, he can be free. There were a Christian level in the church. And but Eternal servant, 
all his freedom after six years and seven years, he come to masters because I love you and because I love my children. I my children, it means, oh, when the servant met with the master as single, single, and if servant met with the master as single, and he married under the masters. And even the contract finish, all wife and children belong to master, not servant anymore. Anymore. It's a beautiful message to all of you. Yes. That's why, so even though after I believe Christ, I have many members with me, newborn creatures with me. You know, if they are under, under the masters, um, under the masters, when the servant have freedom, freedom, he cannot bring out his children and his wife because that children and wife is under the masters. That's why the servant said after finish, I love you, masters. Also, I love my family, which means I love my the children of God, he said. The children of God. This is why, Lord, I want to totally submit my freedom to you, he said. Yeah. Freedom. There are kind of Christian in the church like this. That's why in the Bible said this is very important meaning. Very important meaning. Some Christian use for noble purpose. Some Christian use for ignorant purpose. Ignorant purpose. And this, this uh, understanding is very important to studying for our uh, main topic, Matthew chapter 24 and 25. Just simply understand this one. Someday, maybe Pastor Rafael will sharing it. But today, today, we're going to study according to Matthew chapter 24 and 25. Okay? So, Matthew. Matthew chapter 24, 25. Matthew chapter 24, 25, we call Olivet. Olivet discourse. Olivet discourse. And then discourse, it means preaching. Olivet preaching of Jesus Christ. Olivet. And Olivet, it means mount. The, the olive mount. So, in Matthew chapter 24, 25, Olivet discourse, I gave you my topic, what I'm going to share with you. Number one topic. Number one topics. We will starting today. Okay. Directly. Okay. Uh, you take note. I'm going to share with the background of only the discourse. You know, many of them interpret Matthew chapter 24, 25 without the, the, the background of the Matthew chapter 24, 25. What is the background? He said, yeah. That's why before we studying only the discourse, I really encourage you we should know that there are kind of Christian in the church, not all same, not all same. And also, Matthew chapter 24, 25 is not for, uh, this message is not for the judgment of God. This message is for rapture, rapture. When Christ came on air, and who will rapture in the uh, Christ coming on air, say, on, on the cloud, he said, yeah. very, very important. That's why. Number one, we're going to study background of Olivet discourse. And then, number two is the structure of Olivet discourse. Without structure, you cannot interpret the word of God. Word of God. Okay? So as of now, our church member, because you hear two messages, Concerning for Matthew chapter 24, 25. That's why some of them say we are confused. Confused. That's why I explained from the basic and what is the, the Christian kind in the church. And after that, 
I encourage you. Because Jesus Christ, He mentioned about who will rapture. Simple natural Christian, they cannot rapture even they still alive on the coming of Christ. If you live this way and you died and went to paradise, you cannot enter the banquet of Christ according to Matthew chapter 22. And when we're studying about this, you can discover it. It's very important. That's why structure is very important. And then number three is eight scenarios before the second coming of Jesus. Jesus. And then two scenarios of the raptures. Two scenarios. Two times I will, what I mean, two times I'm preaching about scenario of, uh, two scenario of the rapture, rapture. Because Matthew chapter 24, 25, uh, it is not for final judgment, but it's talking about rapture. Who will rapture according to a uh, blessing Christians? Hmm? A blessing Christian, Matthew chapter 5, verse 1 to 10. And those who really build on the rock, Matthew chapter 5, 7, verse 24. And those good soil Christian, Matthew chapter 13. And also, well, in the Bible, so many uh, tells us who will be noble purpose and ignore purpose. Okay? That's why number three, when we're studying it, you can see it who will rapture according to our studying. And why did we need to keep watch? Because in the, the, there, there, is, there is so many signs of the second coming of Christ. That's why we already know the sign. Therefore, we Christians need to keep watch. Keep watch. Okay? That's why. And before we give this one, I will give you seven attitudes for the Christian and living and living and life. After this, and you need to take note. Oh, and then final message, Matthew chapter 24, 25, there is seven qualification of the rapture. Is it? Seven. Very important. Seven qualification according to parable of Jesus Christ. That's why one by one we will study it. After we studying all about this one, aha, why we need to faithful to the Lord? Why we should become spiritual Christians? Why we should do uh, wise and must be pure virgin and virgin who prepare lamb with the lamb. If you prepare lamb with the light, you should have oils which is the Holy Spirit in you. And Holy Spirit, I told you, Numa is in you for your salvation, but we need to invite Parakritos in Parakritos. Holy Spirit, help me. Parakritos, he is beside of you and who always waiting for your invitation. That's why we say Parakletos is in there. Need to invite. And those who are not invite, Parakletos, no power. They cannot overcome. Okay? That's why the eight, uh, this Olive Discourse, five topics I'm going to share with you. And I believe that this message is more than enough to understand. And there are so many additional for this concerning for the rapture in the history of book of Revelations. You may observe it. That's why, so, okay, seven attitude, maybe there is seven attitude. This one, you just take note. And I think, Pastor, one time, you, can you share it with them? Seven attitude of Christian living in life for the last day, last day. Seven attitude. Oh, seven attitude for Christian living in life. This is pretty important for you. So, huh? Number one. Number one. The number one said, should you know that once you stumble, huh, it is hard to stand again, he said, dear. That's why be careful yourself. Hmm? You should not dishumble yourself. Always we ask God, Lord, I need your grace. Hmm? Those humble ones will receive the grace. That's why, 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 he said, dear, 
because of this humble or pride. Dangerous. So many Christian members, so many Christian leaders, even pastors fall down because of they are not humble. Humble. They thought they can. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Yes. Okay. So if you think you are standing from, be careful that you don't fall. Any of them in, uh, in the last day is not easy to overcome. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Uh, uh, pride goes before destruction is there. Uh, how this spirit mm, before all fall. Uh, always this um, number one, be careful. Once you stumble, hard to stand early in the last day. Yes, I saw it many of our leaders, many of leaders. Okay, the next. And be, because of disobedience, why? Why they fall? Why they fall? Because disobedience. Uh, if you want to obey, you should memorize it. Take the message into your heart. That's why you can obey. And if you are not take the message or uh, put in your heart, you don't have anything to obey. Very important. This one. And, okay, just title and verse. You can, you can write it next. Uh, because there is no root, root. Who, who, who? This Christian, the, 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 the possibly rocky Christians, rocky soil Christians. Is it real? But since he has no root, he lasts only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the world. He quickly falls away. Be careful about this one. Our leadership. That's why let me encourage you. When you worship service, and one time really I'm going to sharing with you what is worship in heaven according to Revelation chapter 4, chapter 5. That is worship in the third heaven throne of God. And all their worship, their worship is like this. Their worship is like this. Today you are here. They remember this one. Pro Evangelo. Is it you're you're the one who designed all the way up in Genesis chapter one, chapter two, and Adam two until your day? It is your design, pro evangelo. And then it is your way, your way, uh. Uh, design this one and proto evangelions and this is way you way, how you oh, forgive forgive and save them like this remember it remember all the pro evangelo how god designed for you and in the design you are there and as of now you are saved you are blessed you need to praise about this one praise about this one the worship in heaven Worship heaven, according to the 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 Revelation chapter four, verse eight, nine, ten, eleven. All the worship said, "It is you design it, and according to your design, your will. Everything is accomplished." It. But in this uh, ministry of the Lord in the history, praise the Lord. You are not in the bad situations. You are saved. Worship must be different. Worship must be different. That's why if you know this one, it became your root, root, root. Yes, root. Honestly, for me, since I know all the panorama during worship and praise and worship, I remember this. Huh? How beautiful your designs. And you are not creating me as the vessel of wrath, but you create me as a vessel of grace. Now I receive your grace. That's why I'm saved. And now I can give my hand to you and praise you. It is by your grace and grace. When I worship the Lord, you know, 
my spirit in me, my spirit in me, is an ear for so fantastic, eh? fantastic worship is so wonderful. Is it wonderful? My spirit is but like this. Huh? Remember it, remember root, root, that's next, next, and then number two, be honest and repent. Yes, be honest, one. Those who, those whom I love, I rebuke and discipline. Thanks to God. Why God uphold the law? Because He loves you. Why He rebuke you? Because He loves you. Amen. But in our tradition and cultural personality, we don't want to rebuke. Rebuke. If pastor say. Every time even you are something wrong, I go very nice, very nice. It is not nice. Actually, it kill you, destroy you. Destroy you. That's why. Word of God is word of God. And then, so, honest and repent. Even Joel chapter 2, verse 13. Repent your heart. Every day, every day. Okay, next. So number three is the title only the wear the cloth of bright two kind of cloth garment of salvation robe of righteousness garment of salvation and robe of righteousness according to Isaiah chapter 61 verse 10 and 11 two verse you should know about this okay we need to wear two cloth but how to wear two clothes? Very important, very important. When we studying, when we studying about Genesis chapter three verse fifteen, and Abraham, uh, Genesis chapter twelve verse two and three, this one is Adamic covenant. Adamic covenant. This one is. Abrahamic covenant. So when you have salvation, if you believe this one, you have salvations. This is Adamic covenant is for salvations. Abrahamic covenant is for the mission. Obey, great commandment and great commission. This one. Love the Lord, love the Philippines, and love foreign countries. This one. Because other Abrahamic covenant. If you are not obey this one, salvation no problem for you. But you should wear this one. Obey this one. Obey. Very, very important. So number four. Number four. Uh, have a fruitful life. So who is the bride? Who is bride? Bride. Who is bride? Bride. I bride, bride. Bride, huh? what is responsibility of bride? Number one, he should love God. Number two, number two, if you love with God, you should have delivered many children, many children, many children. Evangelism, evangelism. Sharing the gospel. Let me challenge you. Don't say, don't say, oh, evangelism by pastor or deacon. No, 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 no. Why we give you the every book, monthly book, this one, hand out? We ask you to get two books. One book for you, one book to share to others. You cannot share all once, once. One person, you should finish every, every, every week. One topic, one topic, finish it. Whether they see or not, you need to share with them. Without sharing, it means without sowing the seed, you cannot bear fruit. Even one person, even five minutes is okay. Ten minutes, ten minutes is okay. Time is not is okay. No, never mind, never mind. Even five minutes, you need to sharing to others. Try to sow the, sowing the seed. That's why someday you can harvest, harvest. 
Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 14 with the best the sun brings full and the finest the moon can yield. Number five. Keep watch from the spiritual sleepings. Today, today, are you really wake up hmm, for the coming of Jesus Christ? According to Mark chapter 13, verse 35, 37. Number six. Escape from the formality of faith. I have been advised to rainbow here. Be careful, your church. If you are not revived it, your church will become traditional church, conventional church. But now, now I, I dear Officer B, God gave us one more chance to your church. Amen? This chance do not lose. Yes. Because God gave one more chance to revive and spiritually move and stand. That's why all members must be united together. When you present worship, I teach you. Remember all the pro evangelo proto evangelion and Abrahamic covenant. Uh, to, so many Abrahamic covenant, covenant, then Mosaic covenant, David's covenant, also oh, so many covenant. The ministry of God. Okay. Ja, next seven. Be prepared for the coming of Christ. This is what we're going to study in Matthew chapter 25, 24, and 25, which is five topics I gave you for our uh, studying this one. Studying. The leadership should know about this one. Leadership. So this seven attitude, please, you studying it. One of the maybe pastor will sharing one by one, and then all member must be remember this. Okay, so Matthew chapter 24 25. This message, this message talking about second coming of Christ on air and on earth is here. Matthew chapter 25, 25, the message of Olive Discourse is second coming of Jesus Christ, which is the end of the earth. End of the earth. But let me encourage you, if you want to see dramatical message, when you read Matthew chapter 24, 25, you, you may have dramatical understanding. You need to me memorize it first. Uh, the the where is the olive mountain? Why Jesus Christ went to olive mountain and pray for this? When Christ went to heaven after resurrect from the dead and forty days with disciples, and when he ascension to heaven, he was on the mount olive there, and he will coming back same place there. It's a meaningful place. That's why we should know first the. Jerusalem, Temple Mount, and Olive Mount, and also where is Kesemane? Let us open map. You need to draw this one. Draw. Very, very important. This is why I can explain with this one. Mount Olive, Mount Olive is here. Where is Mount Opens this one? Mount Olive. No. Mount Olive here and Mount Gesemane here. Mount Olive, Mount Gesemane. So you will, will change it, this one. This one is Mount Olive. Mount Olive. And then Mount Gesemane here. This 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 structure is very important. Jerusalem. This is a map of Jerusalem. Map of Jerusalem. You need to draw it. Draw it. And then this is the Temple Mount. Or Mount Moriah is here. Mount Moriah. Or center of garden. 
when we studying now very important things god gave adam and eve eden and then garden of eden and then the center of garden what is this eden eden this during time of adam and eve during time of uh, 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 abraham who today today and then eternal heaven it will be changed like this accomplished like this that's why it give us very important meaning what is eden 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 it is israel israel what is garden of eden it is jerusalem jerusalem what is the center of garden this one is temple temple mount temple mount temple mount and then one one more here oh, the the mount gethsemane so temple mount temple mount okay so, this one this one this one we carefully studying israel Israel is the center of the world. World. Center of Israel is Jerusalem. Center of Jerusalem is the Temple Mount. Most ex expensive lot in the world is Temple Mount. You cannot buy buy money this one. Yes, you cannot buy. That's why. Uh, anyway, someday later we'll study it. How it was restored, this one eternal heaven. It become New Jerusalem, is it here? And it become throne of God there. This throne of God is there. New Jerusalem. So, this Eden, Israel, Israel, huh? Israel. So, this Israel, Israel. Eden will become, become, oh, this one, this one. It become. New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem. New Jerusalem size is a real, according to Bible said, 2,400 kilometers, 2,400 kilometers the size of the New Jerusalem come down from throne of God. From the third heaven come down this size inside of here there is temple mount which is throne of god is there very very important that one we will study later but important things were too dramatical understand for the matthew chapter 24 25 we need to understand the israel jerusalem 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 this map okay and then Especially, this is this one we call Temple Mount. Jerusalem, Temple Mount. Why Temple Mount? Because, you know, when God created Adam and Eve, He took the dust on the ground. According to the 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 story of Israel, they said God used dust on the gro ground from the Mount Moriah. This is why that dust is from the Mount Moriah. Adam and Eve, when they worship God, they worship in Mount Moriah. Mount Moriah. This is why Mount Moriah, which is temple, uh, the temple mount is very important meaning to us. Noah, after he came out from the Ark of Noah, he first offered altar in Mount Moriah. Finally, we know that why did God call Adam from 
Babylon to Canaan, which is Israel, Israel. And finally, Genesis chapter 22, he went to Mount Moriah. Mount Moriah. It gives us very important meaning. That's why. But as of now, as of now, because of the, the Middle East war and Islam temple they built, we call rock temple already they built. They thought this place is, as of now, no more. No more temple today. No more temple today. And then, only because of AD 70, Jerusalem is totally destroyed, even Temple Mount. And east side, there is only wall. Wall, wall only remain here. How did you call that pastor that wall? Crying, wailing, wailing wall. They, they cry here. And then they renovate it by Islam and they build the temple here. When Islam, they develop it, they thought there is a Mount Moriah. That's why they built it. Inside of this dome, gold dome, there is black stone. I was there. I saw it. They thought this black stone is Mount Moriah. Is it there? Mount Moriah. And also they built another temple we call Al-Aqsa Temple here. Al-Aqsa Temple and Islam Temple here too. But in the history, in the history, according to Matthew chapter 24, verse 15 to 19, in the last day, they will build temple. The temple they will build here. That is sign of the second coming of Christ. Is it here. But actually, Mount Moriah is here. But this Mount Moriah is totally uh, hiding to the Islams. Because Bible said, God already gave this land to the Gentiles, Islam. But this one, if you measure it, Mount Moriah here. That's why finally in the history, third temple will be built in this place. But when Islam, they rebuild this temple mount, you know, they close eastern gate here. Why? Eastern gate is in the Bible. Then later on, you can study it. Anyway, it's very important here. This is Jerusalem. Jerusalem. This is Temple Mount. We call it Temple Mount. And Mount Moriah is here. Huh? Moriah is here. Uh, before, during time of Jesus, before this temple, we call this is outer core. Outer core. Or outer core. Always Jesus Christ went to this place and preach. Only the discourse is said to stay. He preached 12 sermons. Tuesday, Monday, he cursed the fig tree. Went to temple and turned off all the table and angry to the teacher of the law and Pharisees because their Passover feast is already corrupt. And second day, Jesus Christ went to the temple court in here, in here, in this side, in this side. He preaching here. He preaching. After he preaching, always Jesus Christ used this eastern gate. Eastern gate. Go to the, go to the uh, Olive Mount. And when he just go out of this eastern gate, there is valley, very sharp. I was there, very, almost 100 meters sharp. Like that. We call Kidron Valley is in hills. From Temple Mount until Olive Mount, or Temple Mount, Olive Mount here, almost four kilometer distance. So after he preaching here, 12 sermons, 12 sermons. And Matthew chapter 25, 26 is the last sermon. sermon. But in here, what is his la last sermon is here, only mountain hills. And here, 11 sermon is Matthew chapter 23 and say, 
What do you lead leaders? Christian leaders, what do you lead? And later on, I will give you information. After preaching here, important things here, Matthew chapter 23, verse 37, 38, 39 is very, very important. So we will open. So, okay. Matthew chapter 23, verse 37, 38, and 39. This message is very important to us. So you can see it. Oh, Jerusalem. Now, Jerusalem, isn't it? Jerusalem temple, you can see all Jer oh, Jerusalem. Huh? Jerusalem, you who killed the prophet. This Jerusalem is the Israel, Israel peoples. Okay? You killed the prophet because in Old Testament, God sent them prophet because of prophetic message, what is pro evangelo Prophet is the one who received from the Lord and speak to the Israel. Israel. When they, when the Lord sent prophet to them, to them, what happened? They killed them, killed the prophets and stoned those to send to you. Then if I drawing this one from here, so from here, from here, from here, so this is now. Uh, uh, BC4 is the birth of Christ. Jesus. Jesus. And then now, AD 26 is the public, public ministry of Jesus. When, when he was aged 26, he, his age is already 30 years old. 30 years. 30 years old. And then, this message is AD 30. AD 30. And he became 33 years old. Thirty three years old. And then Tuesday he preaching preaching for the second to the last sermon, which is what will be happen to you, you leaders, he said. That's why he said here. Yeah? Uh, how often I have long to gather you so, from here. From here, because of the pro evangelo and Proto-Evangelion and starting Abrahamic covenant because history of Israel begins with Abraham. From here, from here, I sent prophet until today. Until today, he sent prophet. So many prophets. But you're the one who Kill them, kill them. Even you kill them, he said here. How often I have long to gather you children together. Even you kill my prophet, I really try to gather them. And he illustrated, as a hen gathers her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. They are not accept invitation of the Gospels. They are not accept. They don't know who is God. They don't want to who is God also. This is what during AD 30, AD 30, he said here, Matthew, Matthew chapter 23, verse 27. He said 27. He said 27. And then, so, he said here, not only this, not only this, Verse 28, 38. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 37, please. 37. He said here, Until I send prophet to you from the Abraham, Abraham here, and you're the one who killed them all until today, until this message. Even I try to gather you, but you reject it. You are not accept. Hmm? Accept. They didn't accept. 
And then 38, Matthew chapter 23, verse 3. Look, your house is left to you desolate. It means your house will, he prophesies, your house will be destroyed. Well, well, when, when, when? This one will be AD 70. Destru destruction of Jerusalem temple. Your house will destroy. AD 70, your house will destroy. According to Matthew chapter 23, verse 38, he already prophesied this one. This one is very important. After that, he said here, he said here, for I tell you, you will not see me again. From this time, all Israelites become blind. Become blind. They can see God anymore. Anymore. This is very important. I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, until when? Until full number of Gentiles will gather. You cannot see me, he said here. Here, here, here. Yes. He talking about this one. Until where? Until where? Seven years. Huh? Millennium kingdom. Then, eternal heaven. Ja. Almost here. Almost here. Almost here. Almost here. Until this time, you cannot see me, he said here. See me. Huh? Why? Why? Ja, uh, no, on, the, on the here. This is a rapture. 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 And this is a parousia. Parousia. I will write some bigger. This one is parousia. Parousia, it means early appearance of God. Christ will come on air. air. It's Matthew chapter 24. 24. And then there is wait this one. This one. There is wedding wedding feast. Wedding feast. Feast. Wedding feast. And then we so we call Epiphany. Epiphany. Second coming of Christ on earth, he said here. On earth. Okay? Da. Jesus Christ said here, until here, until here. So, so mostly here. But the, the Revelations, chapter 7, verse 9 to 14. Almost full number of Gentiles will fulfill. Until this time, you cannot see me, said here. But in 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 here, here, here tribulation, many Jewish will also believe Christ here. They will open their eyes. That's why when when because of Amaketo Noir, also final salvation is here for the Jewish. Jewish. Ja, ja. Even you are uh, still still young is okay if you listen and listen and listen you can understand it this one ja. actually jesus christ already preaching about what happened with you you are not accept even i send many prophets to you until eighty thirty. that's why you know your your jewish people your jerusalem will be totally destroyed after that all Jewish people will become spiritually blind to see Christ. You cannot see me anymore. Until when? Until, until in this time. Some of them, they will accept Christ here. And finally, all of them will accept Jesus Christ here. Until full number of Gentiles, you cannot see me. According to Matthew chapter 23. Verse 37, 38, 39 said here. 39. That's why Matthew chapter 24, 25, 
story talking about Gentile group for the rapture, rapture, rapture. Jewish will not go to wedding here because they are not open their eyes. 144,000, they will enter here in the last day. We call stump, stump. That's why we now are studying before, even, even until here, until this time. Until this time, this time, there are many Jewish people, but few of them are a Christian. We call they are spiritual remnant. Remnant. Okay? But AD 70, it means already the this is three. This three. This three is already cut. Cut already cut. That's why. From here until here, until here, there will be 144,000 Messianic Jew will accept Christ. That 144,000 Messianic Jew, Jew, we call they are stump. Stump. They are. Stump, 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 stump. A P. I'm sorry. Stump. Why? Stump. It means those three was cut, and because of this three, it will grow like that. Three grow like that. This one we call stump. Lemnan. It means among all crop, all people are not open to see God, but there are always lemnan prepared by God. Here. That's why in Jewish people, we call they are stump after AD 70. But in Gentiles, even there are many Gentile Christians, they are not faithful, they don't know how to serve God. There are Gentile lemnan is still We are Spiritual lemnan must be hallelujah. Amen. Ja, with this understanding, understanding, ja, let me see. Let me see. Ja, PowerPoint, okay, PowerPoint here. Ja, okay, look at this. AD 26, Olivet discourse, he mentioned about all prophet, you I send, but you kill, and he prophesies. That is the reason why your nation will be destroyed, AD 70, for of Israel. And then, early appearance, 144 Messianic Jews, we call this one is stump. And many Gentile Christians, in many Gentile Christians, dear brothers and sisters, you may see there is different group of Gentile Christians, someone who entered tribulation, Someone who rapture is it? This is Matthew chapter 24, 25 stories. 25. And then after waiting, they will coming down and reign for millennium kingdom. Is it your kingdom? Ja, okay, next. Ja, ja, Matthew chapter 24, verse 1 to 4. 1 to 4. Ja, with this understanding, the map. Ja, after he preaching in temple court, Jesus Christ, he go out from the east gate. And east gate to the Mount Olive is four kilometers. He go to Gidron Valley and walk to the Olive Mount. So after Jesus preached, Matthew chapter 23, verse 37, 39, his last preaching of the temple court, he went out through the east gate to go to Mount Olive, almost four kilometers. His information is also dramatically you can see in our other study verse. Verse two, when they are in Olive, Mount Olive, Mount Olive, ja, do you see all these things? Jesus Christ said, as Jesus tell about this one. When they go to Mount Olive, they can see all Jerusalem's, all Jerusalem's. And Jesus Christ said to disciples, 
say here, do you see all these mount the Jerusalem? There is a temple mount there. Jesus tell about AD 70. AD 70, it will be destroyed everything. If they, the, if they are in the temple mount, they can understand. That's why Jesus Christ, after he messaged it, he went to Olive Mount and he preaching and tell them, eh, AD 70, this one will destroy it, prophesizing. Prophesizing. Okay, the next. Next. And then verse 3, because of this question, Jesus began to preach in verse Four, verse four. four. Intentionally, Jesus Christ lead them to have a question concerning this happening. When it will be happen? Sorry, say when it will happen. Hmm? When this will be happen? They say. Okay. Yeah. And then when. They question to Christ. When this will be happen? They thought after AD 70 destroy the Christ will coming back. Is it? So is it? As Jesus was sitting on the Mount Olive, the disciple came to him privately. Tell us. They say, when will this happen? This one. This one. When this will happen? After that, you will come back. Is it? Come back. Then, uh, what will be see the sign of your coming and of the end of this the age? This is a question of the disciples. This is why, dear brother and sister, this question must be our question today. Yes, because we we should know it. Already, Jesus Christ will preach about his coming, early appearance, parousia. Matthew chapter 24, 25 is parousia, okay? Parousia. And then there is a wedding according to Revelation chapter 19, said here. And he, after wedding finished, he will come. Epiphany, he said here. Epiphany. That's why Matthew chapter 24 is second coming of Christ, which is his coming on air and epiphany. He said. Epiphany. They catch number verse 4, he said, verse 4. Okay. Jesus answered, Watch out that no one deceive you. No one deceive. This is what Jesus Christ preaching to the Israelites. Israelites. Therefore, dear brothers and sisters, let me encourage you. Let me encourage you. When, according to verse 39, 39, when they will praise, when they praise, so, not only in seven year tribulation year, and but also Magok, there is Magok war. Ma, go, Magok war. The war. Oh, Magok. Magok war. Magok is, means Russia, Russia, Russia. Russia and US, they will fight again there. When they fight, according to Ezekiel, Chapter 38, chapter 39, especially ja, chapter 39, verse 28, and then 39, verse 22, 22 and 28 first, 22 first. Ja, very important, when there is a bug of war, from that day forward, the house of Israel will know, will know. Ha! The one who say about himself is a Messiah. Messiah. Is, ah, he is the Lord Jesus Christ. They know. Will know that I am the Lord their God. He said, Jesus Christ is the Lord, but they don't know here. But when there is Gog and Magog war, because of the war is very hard, difficult. Even here, Amaket, Amaketon war here. Amaketon war, very hard. That time, many of the Jews begin to open. And they said, ah, 
He is the Lord God. 28 verse. 28. 28. He said, Then they will know that I am the Lord their God. For through send them into exile among the nation, I will gather them to their own land. Own land is the, the own land is a heaven, heaven. Own land. Gather them and not leaving any behind. It means according to Bible said, so open your Bible, Romans chapter 11. Romans verse 25 and 26. 26. So Romans chapter 11 is here. I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery. It's mis this one is mystery. Mystery is mystery. Mystery. Mystery, which means impossible to understand by human intellect, but it revealed by the Holy Spirit. God will reveal to someone. That's why he said, I do not want you to be ignorant of this mystery, brothers, so that you may not be conceit Israel has experienced a hardening in part until full numbers hard from here the history of Israel is hardening hardening so many Israel did until when until the full numbers full number this is almost full number of Gentile finish but still there is even for Gentiles yes but almost full number heals the natural times. This one said, number of the gentiles is come in, come in. They will be happening trouble, trouble, trouble. And also 26, 26. And so all Israel will be saved. All Israel will be saved. Not only here and finally in this during war. All Israel open their eyes. They know who is Jesus Christ. He is the Lord God. They will confess like it is. According to the message of Jesus Christ about this one. When you know about map and history, dramatically we can see the Bible like this. It's beautiful. Therefore, ja, continue. 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 Ja. This is why the, the message. This is why Jesus Christ. Uh, bring disciple to the Mount Olive and he preached. But when he, chapter 24, verse 1, once again, so, when after he preached in the temple court, remember temple court, he used to east gate. East gate is, I will speak about east gate today. East gate, Jesus left temple through east gate, was walking away when his disciple came up to him to call his attention is building two, verse two, verse two. and then he mentioned about this one will be happening AD 70 what happening then verse 3 and then when he was in the Mount Olive verse 4 uh, verse 3 they come and question what will be happen this Happen this. They thought this one is the last happening, but they don't know the full number of Gentiles and then final salvation is what. But already it uh, prophesied through the Apostle Paul. And verse 4 there, verse 4. Ja. Therefore, today we just studying about East Gate today, East Gate. Why is it very important, East Gate? In this uh, message, okay, so East Gate, so East Gate is related with Islam. Islam, they're the one who close today. That's why when I when I was there intentionally, I want to see the East Gate today. There's no East Gate because Islam, when they build their own temple, they cover the East Gate. It's a biblical issue, actually. All, all of you must be understand this. The East Gate. Why? Why? In their Quran, Quran, seventy percent content of the Old Testament, same with 
Quran. Yes. 70% content of the Old Testament is same with the Quran. That's why they know what is meaning of is gate. Is gate. Very, very good. Therefore, cha, in Old Testament, let us open our Bible, Zechariah chapter 14, verse 4 to 5. You take note. Zechariah. Is it your on that day his feet will stand on the Mount of Olive? It means on this day, on this day, uh, on this day, when he come, when he come, he will be stand on the Mount of Olive because According to Acts chapter 1, Jesus Christ went to heaven from the Mount Olive, Olive, same place. That's why Zechariah, he already saw it. Christ will come with the same place. And then, on that day, his feet will stand on the Mount Olive, east of the Jerusalem, the Jerusalem Temple Mount. And the Mount of Olive will be split. Into, into from east to west. Why? Why? When Jesus Christ come as King and as power Almighty, even the earth cannot accommodate His powers. Yes, that's why when He come and it split and divide like this, then forming a great valley with the half of the Mountain move north and half move south. Verse 5. Then, you will flee by my mountain, Bali, for it will extend to Azel. You will, you will flee as you fled from the earthquake. The earthquake, earthquake will come here because of the power of a king will come. When, that's why when angel blow, his first coming, he did not belong. He did not belong. Why? He will come and die. But when second coming, second coming, Parousia, angel is so exciting to blow first trumpet. Bah, 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 bah. Why, why, why? Because he was so exciting to tell about all the creature, almighty God, power, glory. It will come to rain everything. That's why, you know, when he come, all the creature and on earth cannot accommodate his powers. Many people of them, they will see how they, uh, they can, oh, Jesus Christ come. No, no, cannot be. cannot be. Many of them will cry also when we see the reality. That's why is there real? Oh, continue. Okay. The Holy One with Him. Verse 4, verse 4, no, verse 4, someone, verse 4. He said here, verse 4, Zechariah chapter 14, verse 4. On the day, he said here, they take his feet, his feet, his feet will where? Standing on the Mount Olive, east of Jerusalem, east, the east gate. He will enter there. But Muslim, they already cover it, close it. Because Muslim, the Quran, they know 70% of Old Testament content is same. That's why, ah, if he come, he should not enter here because they believe their God is not Jesus. Their God is Muhammad. That's why they intentionally close the east gate. So that Christ will come and he cannot enter the hell anymore, he said. Anymore. That is very important. Why? Why they close it? Why they close the east gate? According to the Bible. And it tells about this one. The so next. Okay. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 to 11. Look at this. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit come on you. Is parakletos, okay? This is Parakletos. Parakletos. And you will be my witness in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth because of this Abrahamic covenant. Next. 
after he said this, he was taken up before their very eyes. All of them can be seen. All of them. And a cloud, cloud, hide him from their sight. Sight. Nine. After he said this, he, oh no, ten. They will look intently up into the sky. They see it. Wow, Christ go there. Huh? According to the word of God, he go there. Listen. As he was going, when suddenly two men, is angel, angels, two men dressed in a white stood beside of them, two angels come, and verse 11. Men of Galilee, why? Most of them, disciples of Christ from Galilee and Capernaum. That's why the angel said, men of Galilee, they said, why do you stand here looking into the sky? Sky. The same Jesus who has been taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him to go him go into this time you can see him he's coming is it here coming what how you see christ's ascension you can see him when he coming here many of them from that time they realize it aha i go my spirituality my simple natures i'm not faithful to the lord why, why am I? Many of them, they will repent here. Why? Many, many faithful Christians will rapture here. Rapture here. Very, very important. Okay? So, look at this. Look at this. He standing Mount Olive Mount and he speak about what will be happening. And then when he go up, to heaven, he will come say, please, according to the Bible said. The next Bible. Next Bible. Ezekiel chapter 43, verse 1 to 5. Then the man brought me to the gate facing east. The one, very important this one. This is this is a, a Ezekiel chapter. 45 verse 1 to 5 specifically talking about when he Christ come here and he will enter uh, there. Ja. Then the man brought me to the gate facing east. Two. And I saw the glory of God of Israel coming, Jesus Christ coming from the east, east, east side. Because he will come first in Mount Olive, Mount Olive. And from Mount Olive, according to the Bible, he should enter East Gate. East Gate. Huh? Why he, he should enter there? Oh, the victory must be declared. Yes. It finished already by his death and resurrection and ascensions. And when he come and he will finish it all. And he said, You're coming from the east. His voice was like the roar of the rushing water. And then the land was radiant with his glory. Verse 3. The vision I saw was like the vision I had seen when he came to destroy the city and like the vision I had seen by the cable liver and I fell face down. Verse 4. That's very important. Verse 4. The glory of the Lord and the temple through the gate facing east. During his ministry, oh, always using his gate and his prayer time in Gethsemane or Mount Olive there. And also when the second coming of Christ also, he will enter there. But intentionally today, Islam Christian, they blocking it. They cross, close it. Not Jesus should not enter there, he said. Enter there. So, therefore, so dear brothers and sisters, during, during, during here, during, during here, the first three and a half, 
second three and a half, they already built third temple here. Third temples. Third temple. So when they build third temples, Christ will, after they build, Christ will come. When Christ come, Christ must be entered there, but it closed. Today, they, they, today also close. Even third temple they built, they close also. After they finish, this same sign also, second coming of Christ is there. So, facing here. Numbers. Mm -hmm. so, Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 1 and 2. All the verse you write, okay? Ezekiel chapter 44, verse Then the man brought me back to the outer gate of the sanctuary, the one facing east, and it was shut. Is it real? It is gate is shut. And then, very important this one, verse 2. The Lord said to me, this gate is to remain shut. Oh, we thought Islam Christian is the one who shut the east gate. Close to east gate. East gate. That the reason why Christ should not enter according to their uh, thought. But in the in the Bible, the Lord said to me, to Eskel, that this gate is to remain shut. It must be closed it since Christ, since Christ ascended. Ascended. No one should use it. He said, it must not be open according to the prophet message of God to Ezekiel said here. No one may enter through it. It is the remain. That's why even most Islam temple they build here, they uh, shut the east gate also. It is not by themselves, but it is design, design of God. God's design is God's purpose is no one may enter through it. It is the remain shut because the Lord, the God of Israel, has entered through it until I coming back. No one should enter because they cannot finish all the history of the world. But Omega God will come and he will make it end. Like the Alleluia. Very, very important. Okay. So, Entered. The next. Next. The, it means. It means when Jesus Christ, when Christ, the picture, 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 Jerusalem picture. When Jesus Christ coming from heaven to the olive mount, olive mount. When he came here, he will enter here. As of now, it shut. But it is not because of Islam, but because of God already designed like this. No one should enter here. But when Christ come on Holy Mount, and he will go to Kidron Valley and enter, his gate is here. So, dear brothers and sisters, we will study more about East Gate someday. When we study it, it reveals so many revelations about East Gate. When you're studying about Adam and Eve banished from the Garden of Eden, God, Garden of Eden, this is the Garden of Eden, there is East Gate. This gate is the Adam and Eve was banished to East Gate. The center of the Garden of Eden, there is cherubim guard and there is flaming soul guard for Adam and Eve. But this one is actually, this one is actually Tabernacle, which is, this one is here, here, here. Tabernacle. This tabernacle is Jesus Christ. God banished them, but 
through Christ, they can enter the most holy place, which is heaven. They are the The east gate, east gate. This east gate, someday we will study more about this one. That's why Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 22, this is not by Islam, but it is designed by God. Ezekiel chapter 44, verse 22. Let us read together. Ready, go. The Lord said to me, this gate is the remain shut. It must not be opened. No one may enter through it. It is to remain shut because the Lord, the God of Israel, has entered through it. Very important. Enter is already past tense. Past tense. This gate is gate of Jesus Christ. What I mean, what I mean, you are the temple of God. You should open, open his gate for Jesus Christ today. Amen. You should tell to Christ, Christ coming to me today. Open it. It's okay for you because you know only the message. Islam, anything in the world cannot shut the east gate. If it does shut according to God's design, but for you, already east gate open for your life. Amen. Let's pray. Father, bless our Saturday leadership training. We would like to know what is purpose of ministry and leadership, why we need to prepare, why we need to serve, why we need to be faithful to the Lord. We already starting, Father, what is Matthew chapter 24, 25. We would like to understand more about this so that...